Hey there, it's Chris from Goodroads, and you could say I like markers. Because it's true. And as we both know, you're not a liar, so you could say that. I've used a combination of ink-based markers and paint pens to put art on so many of my DIY skateboards over the years. So when a company that makes markers for drawing stuff on surf and skateboards reached out to me, my reaction was... Well, wow, that is, that is highly specific. But hey, who am I to complain? That's right up my alley. Let's give these pens a shot. Now, full disclosure, they initially reached out to ask if I would promote the markers on the channel. But if I'm going to be promoting stuff here, I want to make sure that they're products that I actually believe in and are good and that I can recommend to you guys and feel good about it. So I asked if instead they could send me some to try out and review. And they agreed. So let's crack them open and see how they stack up. Surf Paints is an Australian company, and they offer up a range of marker sets from the land down under. They sent me over their primary and pastel collections to try out, and I already like some of the color variety I'm seeing. Oh, what's that? Huh, there's a sticker. Nice. More stickers! Cool, man. Paint pens like these need a little prep work to get them up and running, so let's get that sorted first. Just like many other paint pen varieties, the surf paints need to be shaken and then primed before you can actually start drawing. And these guys have a built-in pump mechanism that helps get the paint down into the nib. This is a really nice feature to have. The gravity or capillary fed markers can be kind of inconsistent with their ink output. And pretty early on here, we run into a big difference between surf paints and other similar markers I've used. This pumping mechanism is more sensitive than other brands. That is a light touch. That's a very light touch on the pump. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with that, it can even be an advantage in some ways, but I'm in the habit of being pretty aggressive with these types of markers, and these guys seem to need a lighter touch. Definitely something I'm going to need to be mindful of and careful about as I use these guys. The benefit of that sensitivity is that these markers have great flow. The ink comes out easily and stays wet long enough to get good, even coverage. When I get a new set of markers, I like to make test sheets like this. Since I've got to prime all the markers anyway, these paint swatches let me see the actual colors of the ink, as opposed to the plastic casing. Ooh, that is a bright orange! Oh my! It also helps me see how thick the paint goes on, and helps me start to get a sense of the drying time. And these are looking pretty good. I really like the more atypical colors in the pastel set. The ink goes on nice and smooth, and dries fairly quickly without many noticeable lines in the larger areas, which is something that I like. Yeah. These colors are great! Which is all fine and good on paper. <laughs> but these aren't markers for paper. These are markers for boards. So let's slap some art on a deck. This is a street deck I pressed a while back with one of my 3D printed molds. And I think the rather plain dyed wood bottom is ripe for a glow up. This deck has a layer of polyacrylic on it already, so the art I'm doing in this video is over a finish and not over raw wood, just in case that detail is important. I spent some time getting a design laid out in pencil first, and then decided on a color scheme for the graphics, starting with gray, cream, teal, and this burnt red color. The design is going to center around a cicada, so I start with our little featured bug, working in a direction where my hand isn't smearing the paint that I've already laid down. After those first few colors have a chance to dry, I start working on this geometric pattern that is going to frame the cicada. And I can already tell that our central feature is going to need to be a little bit more eye-catching. So I grabbed an orange marker from the pile and took a bit of a risk trying some layering for the first time right on the deck. And it worked out because it seems like these markers layer really well, better than most paint pens I've used actually. Light over dark, dark over light, it doesn't really seem to matter. As long as the underlying layer is dry, the top color goes on cleanly, and it's completely a pig in one layer. I also didn't have any problem with the top layer picking up the color from the layer below it, which is something I've run into with other brands. And with our cicada newly decked out in orange, it's back to the diamond patterns to flesh out the rest of the deck. I'm waiting a couple minutes between each color so the paint has enough time to dry, 
and I don't have to worry about smearing the art with my hands. I had one or two incidents where I leaned a little too hard on that priming pump and got more ink than I bargained for. But since the ink flows so easily, it's simple to take the excess and just sort of drag it with the nib to where it needs to be. And that, well, well, that was all I had planned originally, but I think that's looking a little lackluster, don't you? So here's what we'll do. Instead of calling it done, let's call it a good start and keep adding stuff and fleshing out this design till it feels good. I'm gonna add some additional small areas of orange for pops of color and to reinforce that hue as part of our palette. And here you can see how you can sort of add more ink and drag it around while it's still wet to get different effects. In this case, I'm using that technique to make sure the orange goes down thick and opaque in one coat. And this is as good a place as any to talk about the other big difference I've noticed with these markers. They have what feels like very thin ink, but they still lay down really solid colors in one coat. Other pens with thin ink can be runny and take many, many coats to get good coverage. And markers with thicker ink cover fast, but the ink also dries very quickly, which can make it hard to manipulate and move the ink around. The surf paint inks sit right in a really nice medium area, where they cover well and flow and stay wet long enough to move the color around as needed. Some of these lines in the design were looking a little emaciated, so I'm gonna beef them up. And other areas were looking a little empty, so we can add a pattern to make things look more interesting. And I think with that, we can call the design done. And I'm happy with it. I think it's looking real nice. So what's the verdict on surf paints? They're great. I would easily put them in the upper echelon of markers I've used, and I'm stoked to add them to my collection. I love the color varieties they have available, how the ink flows in a controllable way, and how easy it is to get nice, even colors in one coat. All I gotta do is get my big, dumb hand meat in the habit of being more gentle with that priming mechanism, and I'm gonna be making some awesome art with these. And if you remember, I had a deal. Surf Paint would send me some markers, and if I thought they were good, I would tell y'all. And I do. And they are. I like them so much that, well, I agreed to become a brand ambassador. And that's a first for me, which is really cool. So if you want to get some for yourself, I've got a discount code. Use the link down in the description and code GOODROADS at checkout to get 25% off your purchase. If you use that there link and code, I also get a little something something from the deal at no extra cost to you, so be sure to let them know GOODROADS sent you. As for the deck, I'm just waiting for the rain to stop before adding another coat of finish, so that's gonna be it for this one. Go ahead and do all the like bell things. If you want more awesome DIY board sport stuff, just go ahead and subscribe. Huge shout out and eternal gratitude to my supporters on Patreon. You are the priming mechanism that keeps the ink of this channel flowing. And as always, I love having you along for the ride, so until next time, I'll see you soon.